It's time for my two cents. The final presidential debate is tonight. Now, for some of you, when you hear that, you feel like this. For others, you may feel like this, and I know some of you feel like this. But regardless of your reaction, presidential debates have been a staple of the American election cycle for some time now, but it wasn't always that way. You see, debates between candidates really didn't take off until the mid-1800s. That's when Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas went head-to-head -head for a Senate seat. Before that, it was really up to a candidate's supporters to drive a political campaign. And it wasn't until radio and later television that a wider audience could experience debates. Before that, they had to read printed accounts of the conversations. Of course, the first debate broadcast on TV was between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. After that, appearance, body language, and performance played a big part in not only who won the debate, but who won the election. Since then, debates are much different. Now, instead of presenting a platform and answering questions, debates are about giving the best sound biter, even creating a viral moment on social media. Which begs the question, do we need debates? With all the resources we have to learn about a candidate, read their platform, and even watch them in interviews, is the debate format the most beneficial to voters? Are debates becoming less about content and more about entertainment? Do debates place more focus on standout moments and zingers than actually helping people decide who they want to lead our nation? I'll leave you to form your own opinion, but that's just my two cents.